Once you overcome the one inch tall barrier of subtitles, you will be introduced to so many more amazing films," said Parasite director Bong Joon-ho as he claimed the prize for foreign language film. In one perfectly barbed sentence, Bong called out the American movie going public's perceived aversion to subtitles. Bong effectively stated in English, "I think we just use one language, the cinema." So welcome to my channel Beyond Subtitles and we will look at best of movies and TV series around the world. TV shows are probably the best way to understand different cultures and the reality of countries all over the world. And Netflix has been investing heavily in Brazilian production that give international viewers a broad perspective of Brazilian culture, history and also politics. From wild documentaries about the funk music scene to dystopian dramas that haunt us, there is a ton of great Brazilian television that plays globally. And here are 17 Brazilian shows that you must watch to not only have fun and spend some time, but also to have a privileged view of Brazil. Invisible City. This Brazilian show is about an underground world that is inhabited by mythical creatures evolved from a deep lineage of Brazilian folklore. A detective from Rio de Janeiro finds himself caught in an investigation that puts him in the middle of a battle between these two worlds. It's a nice blend of fantasy and Brazilian culture set in beautiful city of Rio de Janeiro in a well-written storyline. If you want to learn a bit more about country but are tired of the usual police and gangs style produced in Brazil you will want to give a invisible city a try Kick so much Girls from Ipanema This Netflix original series plays in Sao Paulo in the late 1950s Maria Luisa the main character is a conservative girl and utterly dependent on the two men her father and her husband Pedro However, her life takes an entirely different turn when Pedro abandons her after traveling to Rio de Janeiro to open up a restaurant. Maria Luisa of course follows her husband's tracks but ends up turning the sophisticated restaurant into a nightclub. In Rio de Janeiro, this young woman discovers a new world in the company of feminist and liberal women. It's a great series that shows the national society in the late 1950s through Maria's perspective. Do watch it in Portuguese with subtitles in the language so that you can capture the true essence of this Brazilian hit series. Reality Z Based on the British series Dead Set, Reality Z plays in an apocalypse in Rio de Janeiro. Like the Walking Dead, the characters have to learn how to fight the dead, but also the living. Some reviews say the series is too on the nose but I think it is a nice change from the Brazilian shows that cover only the criminality and political corruption. <laughs> Dating around Brazil. Dating around Brazil is the Brazilian version of Netflix's dating show and it's played in Sao Paulo. The series shows in a few episodes the first dates of five couples of different genders, ages and orientation. One downside which I personally did not expect from Netflix is that in a country where the population is the majority of color, none of the main characters are dark skinned. Still, if you are curious about dating tradition in Brazil, you must want to give it a try. Subtitles available. Será que deu match? Brotherhood Brotherhood is an excellent Brazilian series that shows the failed corrupt police and prison system. The story plays around Cristina, an honest and dedicated lawyer who finds out her brother who disappeared years ago is in fact imprisoned for being the leader of a criminal gang. She is then forced by the police to work as an informant, but as she infiltrates the gang, Cristina begins to question her values about law and justice. Kissing Game With current and daring themes this Brazilian series on Netflix is a nice surprise The plot is about a disease spread through teenagers from a small town in the states of Goiás They also managed to wrap up all the storylines at the end in a very clever way which I liked When you watch the trailer it seems like a trashy series but I would give it a try Agora é só o tempo 
द सर्कल द सर्कल इज द ब्राजीलियन वर्जन ऑफ द अमेरिकन एंड यू के शोज विद द सेम नेम इन दिस फन रियालिटी कॉम्पिटिशन ऑनलाइन प्लेयर्स ट्राई देअर बेस्ट टू फ्लर्ट बॉन्ड एंड कैट फिश देअ वे टू ए ग्रैंड प्राइज ऑल दो दिस ब्राजीलियन सीरीज इज शॉर्ट इन द सेम अपार्टमेंट बिल्डिंग इन द इंग्लैंड एज द अदर एडिशन दे आर आर नाइन इनिशियल कॉन्टेस्टेंट्स हेयर अनलाइक द एट फ्रॉम द यू एस वर्जन If you don't know this series it has been compared to Big Brother and Catfish in its format but it also reminds me a little bit of Black Mirror episode Nose Dive which has the concept of rating anyway the circle brazil gives the circle of a south american glow up and that makes the show even more interesting to watch give it a shot 400 mil reais pra casa Sentonia Sentonia brings the story of Donny Nando and Rita young residents of the same favela in sao paulo who were chasing their dreams while trying to maintain their loyal friendship growing up together through the streets of the community they gradually discover the world of trafficking religion and music sintonia does a pretty fair job of depicting how life in a brazilian favela is it's interesting to see the cultural religious and underworld all connected it's bagulha nós man nós três oi oi the mechanism The Mechanism is a dramatic fiction series loosely inspired by an investigation of corruption in Brazil's private and state oil and construction companies. The investigation is a political scandal called Car Wash. It happened in 2014 and led to Dilma Rousseff's impeachments. Obviously, you should take the statements made in its Brazilian series with a grain of salt as they don't depict the real events. Nevertheless, it's a Excellent way to understand one of the biggest political scandals in Brazil. Tava com ele o naipe inteiro. The Chosen One. The Chosen One is a fiction where three young doctors are sent to an isolated village in Pantanal. Their task is to vaccinate residents against a new mutation of Zika virus. However, the population refuses treatment and the trio finds themselves trapped in a community guided by an enigmatic leader. That this leader says he has the power to cure diseases without any medicine. This series has an excellent mix of science and faith in a unique premise. It has humor, thriller, and some interesting and well-crafted photography. Essa diferença. A ciência tá sempre em dúvida. A fé tem certeza. Samantha Samantha is a series about a former child star who has lived her peak as an actress. Now Samantha is a 40-year-old world woman who tries desperately to come back to the spotlight with hilarious hair brand schemes. She is married to a former football player who has just left jail after 10 years behind the bars. But her husband's freedom is far from the solution to her problems. This Netflix series is a colorful sarcastic and delicious journey to our affective memories as it draws a curious parallel of what it feels like to be famous in this decade. Só é uma estrela. Atrapalha o momento sim. Nobody's looking. Yuli is a guardian angel full of personality who dissatisfied with how arbitrary the orders he receives daily are and decides to rebel against the system. The series uses acid humor to subvert preconceived ideas and to question complex concepts like the relativity of good and evil. This Brazilian show is somewhat quirky but witty and engaging with a brilliant concept. Spectros. A group of 5 teenagers is in accidentally drawn to a supernatural reality that can't be understood but which connects to the same place in the city in 1908. As events get stranger and stranger, the group finds out they are in the middle of a conflict between Japanese Shinto ghosts and Brazilian witchcraft, and that someone is bringing the dead back. At the same time, the spirits want revenge for that. This Brazilian series is played in Libra da Day, a neighborhood in Sao Paulo, which is said to have the world's largest Japanese population outside of Japan, making up for an intriguing mix of culture. And these children are the last hope. The Place of Women It is a stand-up comedy show where four Brazilian comedians rip off on lust, politics, religion and motherhood. The name of the show makes reference to a rather frustrating stereotype very popular in some culture including Brazil. The Place of Women is in the kitchen. Still these four women set out to prove a woman's place is anywhere she wants to be. Que trabalha atrás do balcão não fique parecendo um bebê no cercadinho. Super Drags Three gay co-worker lead double lives as superhero drag queens. 
fighting crime and other forces like an evil queen and a conservative politician. This adult animation might seem silly at first, still in fact it points out several social issues is using a lot of humor, easter eggs and puns. Little by little it brings up some very nice criticism with homophobia, mainstream media and the aesthetic standards of the society. Because it has only 5 episodes, the series doesn't go much deeper into these issues but it already gets its message across. Super Drags is quite funny and very tongue in cheek, it's light hearted and nothing too serious. This Brazilian show on Netflix also creates several links with other animation like the Powerpuff Girls, Power Rangers and Sailor Moon but in a cartoon for adults. It's dragging time. 3% in a not too distant post-apocalyptic future, the earth is a devastated place. In Brazil, the continent is a miserable, decadent region with a scarce resources. There, every citizen is given a chance to go through the process at the age of 20. The process is a rigorous selection of physical, moral and psychological tests that offer the chance to ascend to the high seas. In this region, everything is abundant, food, opportunities and comfort. However, only 3% of those registered will get to the other side. This series explores what people are willing to do and leave behind for their dreams. I particularly like this Brazilian TV show a lot. Omniscient The story plays around a controlled social system that delegates law and order inside the city to a central computer where citizens are monitored 24-7. A citizen is followed and monitored by a small drone and crime rates are minimal. The omniscient system seems to work correctly until a young woman called Nina find out about an incident that was never reported. Nina then begins a journey in search of the truth behind this alleged negligence. If you like Black Mirror, you will also like Omniscient as this series is an essential a Brazil Black Mirror. Still, it has its own character and Nina is rather compelling in the central role. 